Greetings from Lexington, Kentucky. I am so humbled to be able to come to you in prayer Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour. So I will start with scripture, Psalm 146, verses 1 through 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Father God, I thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. I thank you for allowing me yet one more time to come to you in prayer in the midnight hour. And I ask that you pardon me for my sins, anything that I've committed intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed. Father God, I just ask for your forgiveness. And I certainly invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer. And Father God, I thank you for all of my prayer partners, those who touch and agree with me. Again, your word says when two or more gathered in your name that you be in the midst. So I thank you for my brother, Deacon Allen, our morning prayer group. I thank you for the morning glory prayer group. I thank you for the Allen family prayer group. And I thank you for Cadiz Baptist Church's 6 p.m. daily prayer call as well as Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, their weekly 7 a.m. Wednesday prayer call. And all of the other um, prayer partners that, that I have and that I pray with throughout the week. Father God, particularly on this day, um, within this last week, I am, I've been very fortunate to travel to various states in my work and in that meeting amazing people um, being able to share your word and and just see the wondrous works that you are doing. I thank you that people are reaching out for prayer and we know that we cannot do this without you. We know that we need you. I pray for all those who have a bereaved heart, a heavy heart, a broken heart, those who are suffering, fighting um, various um, medical illnesses, injuries, I pray for restoration. I pray for covering. I pray for deliverance of addictions, strongholds, whatever it is, God, that we're in need of. We know that we can come to you in prayer because your word says that we can call out to you, that you will hear us and that you will answer our prayer. We know that you can. We just ask that you will. I am so grateful and as everything is happening around the world, uprisings and cold, frigid temperatures, storms in various locations, we know that you are still God, that you're in control of everything. With one touch, you can do anything. I just believe in the power of prayer. I've had a lot of family members and close friends within this last week to celebrate their birthday. And I'm so grateful that we can celebrate while we still have breath in our bodies, while we're still living, to celebrate, to make time, take time to look out for someone with all of the COVID precautions. We know that we cannot have all of the face-to-face, -face, but you can still call someone, um, send someone a, a, a card in the mail, just make the effort to let someone know that you care, that we care. We have to show compassion. We have to show love. This is what God is calling us to do. Help a neighbor out. Help a family member out. And certainly I pray for, again, people who are bereaved right now, that they receive compassion from from those of us who can give it, that we will give it. And for those who don't know you, Father God, I pray for everyone to come to know you in a personal way, to accept you as their Savior. And know that your precious Son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power, that there is power in prayer. Prayer is power in believing, being tapped into a relationship with you. And for those of us who know you, I pray that we make time and take time not only to share your word, but to spend time with you in word and in prayer. It makes all the difference in the world. 
I pray for our world leaders. I pray for our local leaders. I pray for everyone in the education system. I pray for those who are working the midnight shift, especially our law enforcement officers, our military people who are even stationed away from their homes, medical personnel, transportation people. Everyone who's working the midnight shift, I pray for covering because while people are typically slumbering and sleeping, someone has to keep the watch. So I just plead your blood of, of covering. And also, I'm reminded of scripture that says that when you pray in the midnight hour, chains can break. And I know if you did it before, God, you can do it again. So I pray for chains, chains of addiction, anxiety, stress, all the chains that are not fruits of your labor, Father God, I just lay them at your feet and I ask for those chains to break, that we trust you. We trust you with our whole being, that we can depend on your word and follow your word and that we will be blessed because of it. So, Father God, I thank you for YouTube for allowing this platform as well as all of the LinkedIn people that I've met who are inspirational and really um, focused on sharing the word, even though it's through allegedly a work-based professional media outlet. But it's important that whatever we do to include you in that balance, for you to be the top and everything else will fall into place. And I believe that I stand on that word. And I'm sorry I didn't stand on that or, or as firmly stood on that when I was navigating the hamster wheel of working and school and military all at one time, trying to do the family thing too and so much more. I, I, I am so grateful that you, Father God, that you are ahead of my life. And that I do have the right perspective now. And I just pray for someone else to know Put God ahead and things will fall in order. Lord, I thank you. And your word said that you left us in peace. So I too would say peace. But just before I'm closing, I thank you for my pastor, Senior Pastor Greg at Cajun Baptist Church. And I pray for every church that's open in your name to continue kingdom building. Brothers and sisters, preach the word, teach the word, not only in um, in what you say, but more importantly, what you do and how you do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace.